that? Oh boy. Then this rancher strides in like a shark, hair all done up and fancy and dark. She feels a spasm in her compression alternator. That's, uh, well, keep at it, you know. Um, maybe she's a beautiful poet, not tied down by your prescriptive rules, Philistine. Well, all right, all right, fine. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. <laughs> Uh, is it? Is it? Mm, I don't think it's good if that if she started talking about her ex. This is, by the way, I should. In terms of my own dialogue options that are appearing in my head, all of them now are saying "dumb" in brackets. Just so you know, this is far out of my ballpark. Get some drinks at that bar there. Lost hope. We had to go there anyway. Great idea. Drinking solves everything. I'm pining for June like something fierce. Oh dear, she's. What am I doing? Got the vapors. Um. <laughs> shit. What do I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. With June, I don't know. I don't know what to do about us. Neither do I. Maybe talk to her. I. I. Mm. I don't know, man. Look at my face. I've got purple hair and a massive nose. I'm dumb as shit and yet somehow an engineering whiz. Um, my name's Duncan Spiv. I apparently have relationship perception. <laughs> what? What is going on? What is this character? That was quick. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? course. Wouldn't you be? Yeah, okay. Stupid question, perhaps. Everyone is, no matter their quirks. No, I am who I am. If people don't like that, they're not for me. Not anymore. What does that mean? Not anymore. Not since the accident. Anyway, um, everyone is, no matter their quirks. I like how the uh, bartender is just eavesdropping on this entire heart-to-heart -heart we're having. Um, could you fuck off, mate? You think I can't see you in the soft focus of the camera, but I can. No? Just gonna stand there? Just gonna... Hmm. Yeah, see? Pavati can see you there as well. Fuck off, mate. Private conversation. Gives me more chances to talk to him. Oh, I, I see. I a little bit of a squish on this villa. A squish? He's sort of the strong, silent type. Squish. My apartment's kind of filling Never up heard with it called that stuff. before. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Sorry, are we still talking about the same thing here? I know she can't get these goods anywhere else. She. <laughs> she wants your other goods. She's not talking about. That's crazy. No one would do that. Someone in love would. Because that's like being crazy. Except they can't give you any medication for it. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a day for Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. It was kind of like, oh no, my business is in jeopardy. I better make nice why has this game, on two occasions now, roped me into having to give dating advice to people? I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. Fuck yeah, go for and it. I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Fuck no, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not a good place for it, surely. Felix is gonna walk right through the middle, or Sam will spray her full of cleaning gunk and. I mean, just in general, the ship is not a very romantic place, is it? You met her. I mean, you introduced us. Yeah, no, no, I know, but just why here? Why are you asking me? Yeah, exactly. Ask Pavati. I don't want to be held responsible for fucking perfume choices. I'm going to fuck this up. Oh, 
gosh. Is it better to smell like a flower than an apple? I feel like everything around here is going to smell like refurbished shit. Like, she's not going to stand out if she smells like everything else. What am I fucking talking about? How did I end up on this fucking quest? Ah, oh, there they are. Just... Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Uh, no. They look to be in a really, really flimsy sort of bag. You know, like... Sealed with a bit of string. I don't, I don't think this is going to be sanitary to feed anyone. Are you just putting off a date? Because I can't... If the fucking casserole costs 3,000 bits, how much is a swanky dress or suit or something going to cost, you know? Okay, let's see how the date is going. Hey, boss, I want to talk to you. Shut the fuck up, Felix. It's not a good time. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my own. I'll just sit here then. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Smooth. Nice line, June Lei. Shame about the awkward silence afterwards. How's it going? June called me pretty. Sounds good. How's it going? I appreciate you making the time for this. It's fine, it wasn't it wasn't time so much as money. Inordinate amounts of money on this fucking casserole. And yet you're eating what fish? The fuck? I spent three thousand bits on this fucking casserole and you go and get fish and chips. Oh I'm I'm I've had it. I've had it with you people. Why did I go in there? How'd it go? Okay, Captain, she's gone. You don't have to shout, I'm right here. Oh, I'm near about vibrating, I'm so excited. Whoa, so too much information. Here. And anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! <gasps> and then she sneezed again. On account of the flowery soap. Wow, we've really fucked that up then. 